And this is the Tuesday Show, coming up on today's edition Blue Scene Santa Claus, coming to town. I am your host, Jackson Wells. On TV, we have Edgar Zaret. And on sports, we have Marcus Everhart. It's Tuesday, November 28th, and you're watching Blue Scene. Now for our top story, Santa Claus coming to town. How you been? Now you're nice. Santa Claus will be in the cafeteria during all lunch periods on Thursday, December 7th. This is your chance to tell him what you want, what gifts you want. You, you want this holiday season. Restrations for next year's classes have been, been begun. Did you know that you can work on Bloomsea and earn an English electric credit? It sounds like fun. Sign us for broadcasting classes. Advanced broadcast student Keith and Green recently interviewed the broadcasting teacher, Mr. Cook. I'm Mr. Cook. Well, I'm an English teacher. Uh, I've taught just about every grade, uh, but I'm also the teacher of broadcasting where we produce Bloom Scene. Well, interestingly enough, uh, I was a student in broadcasting when I went to Bloom High School, graduated in 1997, and I was in a class with Mr. Bob Eskew, and he was the original uh, broadcasting teacher. When he retired, we had been talking about it, and he recommended me for the job, and I've been doing it ever since, over 10 years now. You know, I think back then I was really just concerned when I first started, I was just concerned with can we get this show off the ground? Whereas over the years, I feel like I've tried to increase the professionalism of the production, uh, get better and more advanced equipment for the students to use, focus on film techniques and broadcast journalism in a way that uh, I hadn't earlier on. Absolutely. Um, it gives you some confidence to have to be on camera and speak to people and you can't necessarily see their reaction but even working behind the camera you have to kind of get comfortable talking to people that maybe you've never met before and find that way to kind of get them out of their shell so i think in interpersonal relationships and just kind of how i am able to present myself and communicate with people i think it's improved a lot i think the hardest part is that it's not a traditional class and so it's hard to create activities that all the students can do every day since summer taping, summer editing, summer out in the halls doing special projects. Uh, and so trying to coordinate all that does take up a lot of my time, um, not just during class, but outside of class. I would recommend it to a student because it's different than other classes. It gives you an opportunity to be creative, to produce things that you think are interesting. Um, and like I said earlier, a chance to kind of boost your self-confidence, get more comfortable talking to people. Um, and it also gives you kind of a greater appreciation for videos and film when you start to learn those techniques. Tell your counselor, sign me up for broadcasting. That's it for announcements. Let's go to Edgar with your activities. Thanks, Jasmine. The Winter Band and Choir concert will be held at 6 p.m. on Friday, December 8th. Doors open at 5.30. You can buy tickets through Eventbrite's there is a link in the description of this YouTube video. Bring the family and enjoy the talent musical from our schools. Get your tickets today. The Ladies in Progress annual sock drive is still happening. The Ladies in Progress will be collecting socks for the whole month of November. NJRTC has been our top collectors for this event for the last few years. Who wants to take the top spot? Our goal is to collect 700 pairs of socks for the less fortunate. You can bring Infant socks, children's socks, adult socks, colorful socks, crazy socks, mix match socks, but all socks must be new. This is it for activities. Now let's go to Marcus with sports. Thanks, Edgar. The boys' basketball season began last week with the Chicago Heights Classic Tournament. We defeated Hammond Central in the first round, 60 to 50. Then we beat TF South in game two with a score of 66 to 49 on Wednesday. November 22nd, we crushed Hillcrest 47 to 34. Unfortunately, we lost a longtime rival, Homewood Flossmoor, in the championship round 49 to 39. Boys varsity basketball team is currently three and one overall with no conference games yet. The team is away at Thornton this Friday, December 1st. The Scholastic Bowl team heads to their next competition on Wednesday, November 29th. We will meet you in Mr. Cook's room immediately after school. If you have not turned in a signed permission slip, you must bring it with you. You will not be allowed on the bus without a permission slip. 
The wrestling season began last Tuesday, November 21st, with a competition at Evergreen Park. Then the wrestling team competed at Condit High School on Saturday, November 25th. We do not have results to report from those competitions. The wrestling team is at Joliet Central this Sunday, December 2nd. The girls' basketball season also began last week with a solid win against Noble Academy, 82-17. <laughs> then on Monday, November 20th, the girls destroyed Southland College Prep, 70-15. <laughs> they had another study win on Wednesday, November 22nd against Thornridge, 71-16. <laughs> The girls are currently 3-0 overall with no games played in conference yet. The girls are away at Proviso East on Thursday, November 30th. That's it for sports. Let's take it back to Jasmine. As we'll see, Teeter, Emma, and now since Mitchell Cook will see her again. I I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing. And I don't care about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true, when all I want for Christmas is you.